Hello, it's me again, Terrence Hebel. I wanted to do a video about where to start with Grimm's if you have a $100 budget, because that's kind of where I was at when I started. Now, um, I started with a large rainbow, so that's one option to go, the 12-piece rainbow set. Um, but looking back, maybe what I would have done would have been a little bit differently if I had only $100. So I wanted to kind of show you what that is what I would get. Um, you could get these, this group of items besides the basket for about $100. You might be looking at a little more. I can definitely recommend some shops to you um, and I might even be opening up my own shop soon here. But um, I would say I would get some balls, a small mini rainbow stacker, some pebbles, and the stacking cups. Um, my kids love the stacking cups with I have chosen the uh, medium size balls, which comes with 12, and these are the pastel colors. I love them. I love the pastel colors. The first thing my kids did was put them in like this, and then they spin them like this. Super cool. Um, I think I paid $20 for these 12 balls. They are definitely maybe a choking hazard, but they are bigger than I thought. They're bigger than marbles. And for my kids, they're perfect. And my 15 month old hasn't tried to um, put them in his mouth. If you already have plastic stacking cups and you want to get something else for about 30 plus dollars instead of the stack wooden stacking bowls, then by all means do that. I didn't have any and I'm so thankful I got these large stacking bowls. Um, my kids make cakes. They're the Grimm's ones. I did natural and I absolutely love the smell, but there's lots of color options. My kids make cakes out of them. They use them for all sorts of things. Um, I highly recommend these, even if you have a plastic set. Um, so with the balls and that, you're at a little bit above $50. Then for under $20, you can get a small stacking rainbow. I would go for this before you go for the large one if you're starting off on a small budget because it'll give you an idea of what your kids think of it. Um, it pairs really well with the stacking cups um, and you can see if they like it. Um, a lot of people like stacking the rainbow and you can still do it with a smaller one. This little piece would be a choking hazard, but um, depending on your child. And um, my kids, some things my kids love doing with it are making little pens or circles, and you could do that and put some balls in there. Um, so I would recommend starting out with a mini, and they are affordable, and they're also cute for a little shelf item um, if your kids don't love them. And even if you end up upgrading to another rainbow, it's fun to kind of have the little pastel one for me because my large rainbow is a regular traditional rainbow, so I like having a little bit of pastel, but not too much. Um, so you can always use that, and they make great gifts. So, um, And then the last item I would recommend is a set of pebbles. Um, my kids use these for beds in little mini, they, they take the large rainbow and make those little circles that I just demonstrated um, and then use these as beds or tables or furniture. There's five, currently five color options. These are the red ones um, and they just feel amazing. They are great for little kids. They aren't a choking hazard. I don't think this is a choking hazard, but I suppose it could be. Um, but they're just a lot of fun and they're usually around $20, a little bit more. So you'd still be in that $100 range um, with these items. So in summary, I would recommend getting some balls, maybe the larger ones if you feel better about that, but I love the medium ones, the pastel ones. Um, then I would get a mini rainbow. And here's the pastel one. Then I would get the set of stacking bowls. There's lots of different color options for these. These are the natural ones and I love them. And then I would get a set of pebbles. So I hope this helps. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for watching.